Hi, I'm Missy Green, an honorary member of the U.S. Pizza Team, and your host for the 2011 U.S. Pizza Team Year in Review. While the team thought it would be tough to top marching in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade at the end of 2010, 2011 brought even more excitement as the team took first place in the world for team acrobatics and culinary. This past year's win seals the team's place as the number one pizza team in the world. With 346 points out of 400, <laughs> Jamie Cullerton, yeah. Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, Grimaldi's. Yeah. He made the margarita pizza today. Totally different than the Detroit Deep Dish. <laughs> Scott Van Duzer, uh, 14 Lucy, Florida. Own a pizzeria. <laughs> Big Apple Pizza. My name is Paul Russo. I'm a CEO of NYPD Pizzeria. I am living in Orlando, Florida from New York. Uh, my name is John Porter. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I run a company called Chicago Pizza Tours. It's a bus guided tour of culturally significant uh, neighborhood pizzerias in Chicago. My name is Antonio Swad. I'm from Dallas, Texas. And my company is Pizza Patron, based in Dallas. I brought some pretty good pizzas, and uh, some of them were a little better than others, and uh, met some great judges here, and uh, it's all good. Got some great people here, honored to be around some everybody, and uh, learning some new things about some new types of pies, and I still go back to the basics. My favorite's always the basics. Hey, you know, you have to have the, the crust has to be right, the mozzarella has to be right, or, or the cheese you're using, and it's a flavor profile of the sauce, the cheese, and the flour, you know, and the dough. It's a really, uh, it's, it's, uh, it taught me some valuable lessons when you think you've known the business, you always learn something new. Traditional. I'm going to say definitely traditional. Uh, it's not every day though that you get the opportunity to taste a pizza that has lemon wedges and shrimp on it or, uh, or buffalo meat or uh, you know one with pear and prosciutto. So uh, it, it's really uh, really a nice variety of different pizzas. Uh, but uh, generally when I, when I go to judge pizza usually uh, it's something more of the, uh, the cheese, sausage, green pepper, stuff like that. You know, more traditional. It's a pleasure to be here and judge pizza. I haven't met a pizza yet that I don't like. Uh, pizza today range from uh, really good all the way up to really really outstanding and it's uh, it's a great event and it's fun to be here and sit with guys that really know pizza and uh, and learn from them as well as learn from the pizzas here we are at the 2011 Orlando pizza show with winner several times over Jamie Colleton tell us uh, where your pizzeria is I work for Grimaldi's Pizzeria. Um, I'm the kitchen supervisor for uh, Florida, mm -hmm. and right now I'm working in Palm Beach Gardens. I came um, and made a classic margarita pizza, mm -hmm. uh, first time competing, and um, you know I guess they liked the bake on it. They kept it simple, right. and um, that's what I was going for. And, and luckily I, I pulled it out. All 
right. It's awesome. Jamie, a two-time winner here at the Orlando Pizza Show 2011, culinary and acrobatics. We've got an all-around guy here for a new member of the United States pizza team. You know, acrobatics, it's just all about practice, practice, practice. And I, I practiced um, for years. Over the years, I've done longer routines, and, you know, you tend to just draw it out and draw it out and draw it out. So I think you just nail the tricks you want to do, keep it exciting, you know, keep the music pumping, yep. and, um, you know, hit your tricks short and sweet.
I do stay, uh, pizza for a stadium up north, and the owners of the stadium have the celiac disease, so the whole family is gluten-free. So we had to develop a gluten-free pizza for the stadium that tasted like pizza. The gluten-free people have never had pizza that tastes like pizza. They could never do pizza, nor could they eat a pizza that tasted like pizza. Right. So that's so what we you, tried to perfect this year. With 329 points out of 400 goes to Mike Amheiser of Pizza Dog in Frederickstown, Ohio. Congratulations. Hey, tell us again what your, what your pizza consisted of. Well, actually it was uh, the Mike's favorite in a gluten-free design. Yeah, it's it's pep pepperoni, mushrooms, onions, green peppers, uh, hard salami, uh, fresh garlic, so I got a um, Romano cheese. It's a red sauce pizza and, and fre fresh basil right. and dry basil. From your garden. Yeah, from my garden. Yeah. Yeah. He's got all his ingredients here from his garden in Ohio. Your crust, of course, was gluten free. What, what kind of flowers were in your crust? I used the sorghum flour and I got that idea from Africa because over there it's a mainstay. Okay. Sorghum is just something they eat a lot of and it's real healthy and nutritious and they seem to. Uh, live on that. So that was, caught my eye right away when I was looking for gluten-free flowers. And then I used oat flour because I know it's sweeter, so I like the oat flavor. And uh, the brown rice. Well, Mike, congratulations. So Mike is the winner of the 2011 gluten-free uh, competition here in Orlando. In Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the team picked up several new team members who joined us in Italy. Let's watch what happened. This spring, PMQ Pizza Magazine went to Milwaukee as part of the 2011 Wisconsin Restaurant Expo. But we were also looking for talent, auditioning new members for the U.S. pizza team. At stake, new members would travel to Salsa Maggiore, Italy, to compete against the world's finest pizzaiolos. First up, the spring 2011 edition of the American Pizza Championship. They're making two pizzas each, one for the judges and one for the audience. We're voting on appearance, pizza taste, and pizza viability, crust, oh. and cheese, and toppings, so overall. Okay, sorry, I didn't know. Right. Yeah, everything, you're going to have different criteria for each one of those categories. But it's pretty easy, you just sit here and eat pizza. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a dream. <laughs> Nine pizza chefs, nine different pizzas, creatively blending all kinds of sauces, cheeses, fresh ingredients, and flair. I made a, it's called the heart attack. It's a hand-tossed crust topped with uh, our signature barbecue sauce. It's got a spiced gentle salami, applewood, smoked bacon, and a three cheese blend. How's it looking? Good. Yes. I'll let you know in four minutes. <laughs> New York Italian, of course, is always everybody's favorite. Yes, it must be tough having to eat so much delicious pizza. But the judges could only choose one spring 2011 American pizza champion. Who would it be? New pizza team member, Tom Carfrey. I'm here with Tom Carfrey. How do you feel? Uh, it's pretty awesome. It, it really is. Made a Detroit style deep dish, which is kind of different. Everybody knows about Chicago style. The uh, Detroit style is also thick and bready, lies flat in the pan. 
but uh, there's no lip, so that the cheese caramelizes in a rim around the outside edge. I felt I did my best turning it in, uh, whatever I could. Are you excited to be going to Italy? Yeah, yeah, I, you know, that'd be a once in a lifetime opportunity, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we can work that out. But the culinary competition wasn't the only way to punch a ticket to Italy. Next up, the acrobatics competition. Okay, so here's the rundown. There are four categories in the acrobatics competition. Contestants race the clock to make the biggest pie possible and largest dough stretch. The fastest box folder category is pretty self-explanatory. How quickly can you make five pies? Fastest pizza maker. And of course everyone's favorite, the high-flying, gravity-defying category of freestyle acrobatics. Let's see who the winners were. Any, any words of wisdom to up-and-coming pizza spinners out there? Uh, be one with the dough. That's what I was always told <laughs> when I started learning was to be one with the dough. And it sounds weird, but it, it works in the end. <laughs> one, two, three. Was there any pre-game strategy? Uh, just stay loose. Don't let your fingers cramp up on you. Just try not to get too nervous while you're up there. That leaves two categories, but only one winner as Giorgio Jove took home first place in not only the fastest pizza maker competition, but also first place in the freestyle acrobatics competition. The less I think about it, the better off it comes. The more I think about it, the more, the more mistakes I start to make. So just have a good time, enjoy it, and uh, you know, just be passionate about what you do, but not overly passionate. Because sometimes it works against you instead of for you. The U.S. Pizza Team International is a group of Italians with strong connections to the United States. Come along with Pizza TV as we chronicle the team's win in Rome during the most challenging team culinary competition. Welcome to the 11th annual Campionato Assoluto Italiano di Pizza, the ultimate Italian pizza championships. My name is Missy Green, reporting for PMQ and the U.S. Pizza Team at one of Rome's most prestigious international pizza championships. The championship consisted of 10 individual competitions, the first two days, nine culinary and one acrobatic. The last day was reserved for a parade of flags and a pizza party to celebrate the victories. Among the 13 countries competing were teams from Spain, Sri Lanka, Macedonia, France, Holland, Morocco, and many others. The competition works in national teams, each with three members. One member judges, while the other two work to make their best red and white pie. The U.S. Pizza Team International members Bernardo Garofalo, Massimo Bruni, and Donato Olivieri. Garofalo was born and raised in New York as a first-generation American in a Sicilian family. The secret is the flour. And, and the 48-hour uh, in the refrigerator at a, at a low temperature, it matures. And now I put it in, in the heat to rise a little bit, and it's going to grow a little bit more. It's going to be a nice pizza. It's uh, integrale, we call this in Italy. So that means that they use the whole uh, piece of grain. It is uh, broken down in a, in a machine, in, a, in a stone mills and they only separate the largest parts that uh, when you eat them you don't simulate them but 90 90 percent of the flour and the, the good things inside stay in here a slice of pizza is a meal you don't need anything on it you have the carbohydrates that's the pasta the dough pomodoro is the tomatoes it's a vegetable and then you have your proteins from the milk that's mozzarella you, you already have everything you need. You don't need to put another five, six, seven, another ten things on it. You destroy the simpleness of the meal, putting too many things on it. Bruni, spellbound by the States, 
abandoned his legal studies in Italy to become a dishwasher in a Pennsylvania restaurant. And Olivieri is a descendant from an American family. All fared well in the individual competitions, but ultimately showed the most skill in the World Cup by team, defeating 17 culinary teams from 13 different countries in the collaborative event. The first pizza was the Ellis Island White Pie, which used regional Italian ingredients, such as porcini mushrooms from Mount Etna, white truffle butter from Alba, bacon aged two years in Nebruti, and pecorino cheese from the high plains of Ragusa, Sicily. The Viva Las Vegas Red Pie celebrated successful Italian-Americans today, alongside photos of Madonna and Robert De Niro. Toppings included sweet provolone, broccoli, vinciocina, gorgonzola, cherry tomatoes a la saffron, and pecorino cheese. The team competition is the most prestigious event of the ultimate Italian pizza championship, with a trophy that dwarfs all others. The championship was a great success and a huge win for the U.S. pizza team. After 12 years of competitions, the U.S. pizza team was able to bring home the gold for Team Acrobatics during the World Pizza Championships in Salsa Maggiore, Italy. How did they do it? By performing an original rendition of Michael Jackson's Thriller with a pizza tossing twist. Thanks for tuning in to the 2011 U.S. Pizza Team Year in Review. This is Missy Green with Pizza TV, signing off.